When you know your website is scoring really badly on page speed performance or insights, do you know what makes it worse? When you know that you could have done something about it. I'm talking about a WordPress website where you might have guest authors or blog posts where people submit and upload their images. Maybe you've got an online directory. And again, people upload their images. Now you could spend all day long talking to them about WebP images, ABIF, the resolution, the sizing. But a lot of people don't listen to that. But here's a free plugin that you could use to massively help yourself out. I'm talking about Optimal. You can use this for free on your WordPress website. Yes, there is premium plans as well, and I'll talk about that later on. But I wanna focus on the free package and what you get. This is gonna serve your images from their local servers via CDN to your website. You can still add images to your media library, but once they're in there, Optimal will start to automatically and very quickly convert and compress them. The settings for this tool are really, really simple. So let's go and have a look at what this could do for you. I have over here an example website. The images total 14 megabytes, okay? I've just taken them out of a graphics tool and just dumped them in. No conversion or compression whatsoever. I'm gonna take the URL for this page, go back to Optimal, go to the very top and you'll see an option called test my site. I'm gonna click that pop in the URL and hit check my site. And this is now gonna show me what is the potential I could get if I was using Optimal? Because it's very easy to install a plugin and then when it does its stuff, you get the results and you kind of accept, well, okay, I think that's pretty good, so I'll just go with it. This is now gonna analyze that page with those six images and tell me this is what you could get. And here we go. Now you will notice it says five megabytes and I've just told you it's 14. That's because it's taking what you see on the page and this is the, now the size that is generated. Because even though the original size was 14 megabytes, unless you're showing all six images as one 920 by 1080, one after another, and it's on that size screen, that's not the real size coming through. So it's telling me it's five megabyte. But the interesting bit is what could be the size after it's applied, 99.56% compression ratio. Now that is the maximum and it has dropped it from five megabyte to 23 kilobytes. And on the mobile, it's slightly bigger, but we're still at a very small range. Now, one thing I do want to point out though, if we take this image, it's actually two megabytes in size, but on the page, it's viewed as 600 or 700 kilobytes. AVIF would compress it down to just under four kilobytes. WebP would be 4.4. I mean, come on, these numbers, they're so close. It doesn't really matter to me that much between which one they are. But if we take another image here, 700 kilobytes on the page, it's about two and a half megabytes in actual size, 3.86 or 4.52. That is pretty damn impressive. So let's go and make this work on our website. Go over to your website, go to plugins, go to add new, go and search for Optimal, install and activate. If you haven't logged in and created an account, don't worry about that. You can do that on the fly via the plugin. Once you've done that, you'll get an email with your API key your username, obviously, which will be your email and a password in case you wanna log in via here. But you don't need to worry about adding in the API because it's already done it for you. And literally all I did was type in my email and hit that button. I didn't have to go through any other process there. And it's already started compressing and converting the images. And you can see there's six images optimized and what is the saving at the moment. Now, most importantly, you will notice as it says 5,000 monthly visits because that's what you get for free. Now, 5,000 visits doesn't mean 5,000 visits. It's actually unique visits, okay? And each unique visit is uh, counted per day. So if I came to my website 10 times today, it would count me once because it's the same person, even though I came in and out 10 times. If I came in 10 times tomorrow, it would again count one. So in two days, I've had two visits. But if 10 unique people came to the website today, that will be 10 visits. So please don't assume that the monthly visit is based on how many times one person opens the page. It is counted daily, but that 5,000 can stretch quite far. However, if you knew you were gonna go over the 5,000, if you wanna go over to their plans, 
This is where you can now start to pay a bit of a premium, where you can now have loads more visits like 50,000, or you might want to modify the number to suit you. There is a way though how you can go from 5,000 to 25,000, and I'm going to show you that. Now, before we go and double check the page, let's just go over to settings. These are pretty, pretty simple, and this is, these are the settings I recommend you go through. Enable image replacement, scale images and lazy load. I'm not a fan of lazy load. However, I will show how you can modify at what point the lazy loads kick in. So we're going to enable that. If you were to enable the optimal badge, this is where you will now get 20,000 more monthly visits allowed. So I'm going to just enable that. And what you'll now notice below me is a badge that says optimized by optimal. You are now allowed to have 25,000 monthly visits. So you kind of have to think about it. Do you want to have that or not? Or do you want to pay the premium? Let's go back to our settings. We're going to go to the advanced tab now for compression. I would recommend you do enable network based optimizations. Also serve CSS and JS. Now let's say you've got an image that you've added via HTML or it's being fed via another plugin, for instance, that might be feeding it through, like let's say you've got a directory plugin. It's not a bad idea to feed all of that through Optimal as well. If you do have any animated GIFs, you might want to convert that into a video because that could actually reduce the size. Animated GIFs can be quite hefty in their sizing. Enable AVIF compression. It will only do this if the browser supports it. That's not a bad idea. Strip the image metadata as well um, and enable auto quality powered machine learning. I'm fine with that. In terms of resizing, there is an option called smart cropping. Let's say you've got an image and I'm in the image and to the side of me, there's loads of scenery. If you want the image to maintain that, fine, leave it as it is. However, if like when your screen changes resolution and then the size of your image might no longer be a landscape and it might be more square and you want optimal to automatically focus on my face because I was the focal point, not the scenery, it will do that. However, if you want to have more control over your cropping, then don't enable it. I'm going to leave that off for now. Enable retina images, which is pretty good if you've got Apple devices. And if you know that your users are going to be uploading hefty, huge image sizes, then go and control that as well. The lazy load settings page is quite important. I would actually leave this as it is. I would not enable native lazy load because then it kind of gets a bit out of hand and it can slow things down and that will affect your page speed score. But I would leave this as it is and the only one I might change is how many images do you definitely want to exclude from any form of lazy loading because WordPress is a bit of a pain at doing that. What I mean is when you're looking at your website on a desktop or a mobile, the first three images, which might or not be near the fold or above the fold, I would definitely be excluding the first three. And I kind of do that as a rule of thumb all the time. The next stage is excluding certain images. So maybe you've got a particular page. It might be like a particular graphic or something you're using your hero banner that you definitely don't want to optimize. Because even though you do want to optimize images, you it kind of affects the quality of it. So if you need to exclude any particular files or anything like that, you can go and do that over here as well. Now, whenever you do mess around with any set on your website, make sure you go over to the settings, go to the general tab, scroll down and then just basically clear the cached images because what you now want it to do is to kind of reprocess everything. Now if I go back to my media library and I click on any one of these images, it is still going to say the full size and this is where you might think, well, what has it actually done? This is what sits in your media library, but what is going to be feeding through onto your page is now the converted and compressed image. And I'm going to prove that if I go back over to optimal, go to test my site. So I'm being told my site is fully optimized by optimal and faster by 1.9 seconds. Believe me, people are going to go, really? Is that it? Anything like that makes a huge difference to your page speed performance. And if I visit my page and just open this image, which remember is two megabytes in size, and I just go and look at the size of it now, the image is about 29 kilobytes and it has converted it into a web 
P image. That's how simple and easy it was, but there is a little bit more you can do. If you go and log in, and don't forget, you do get these details sent to you via the email when you first installed and activated the plugin and signed up. We end up in a dashboard where it's going to tell us it's one connected website, six images, but we do have some other facilities over here where we can go and add in a watermark. Now, by the way, when you go to library, this is where it actually goes and displays all your images that are now optimized. You can see how much traffic you're getting if you are using the 5,000 monthly visits for free. In fact, for every single image, if you do click on it, you can actually start to adjust the size of them online. And this is what will get fed through to your website. So if you want to sharpen it, if you want to adjust the brightness or the contrast, if you want to apply a singular watermark to each individual image, you can do that here as well. But I want to show you how you can apply it on like a global uh, setting. So if you go to watermark, go to add watermark, we're going to upload an image, you click add, and then you got to go and apply a rule. And I'm going to say, apply this to the site, the entire site. And I'm now going to just pick my website there and hit next. There are particular rules you can do. You can go through and play through with them. And I'm going to say, put this watermark, put it in the top left we'll go for. We're going to scale it down to be something like that. And we're just going to drop the opacity maybe. We'll go with about 0 0.7, okay? If we go back to my library, the images are still present without the watermark. But if we now view it on the page, you can see that the watermarks have now been applied. And there it is in the corner. So if you're after the optimum solution for compressing and converting your images, optimal could be the one for you. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. This is not an affiliated video. There's no affiliate link anywhere the link is below if you want to click it go and have a look you can start using this for free like subscribe share and follow i'll see you soon never break always fight never quit do it right play the game win it life have no shame there's no time for the pain let the grind i could change in my mind pick a lane commit and climb the only way to win it life i never miss that stack taking big swings bitch hand me the back in the ring, you'll go out in a bag.